All right, let's do the resistors in series. Okay, so I'm going to draw something here. Uh, and just give me a second before you start copying. All right, so R1, R2, and R3 are in series. So <clears throat> to add them up, the equivalent resistance, the the net resistance due to those three resistors. Basically, it's like you're putting those three resistors all behind each other. You're effectively increasing the length. So you're going to increase the resistance of the whole circuit. <clears throat> and your equivalent resistance is the sum of all of your little resistors. Okay? So in this case, it would be R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R... dot 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 all the way to your ith whatever resistor all right so to find the total resistance of that circuit you would just add up the values for r1 r2 and r3 now current yesterday when you looked at the simulation current is truly the direction that electrons would flow that is true and yesterday your simulation showed the direction of the electrons okay however the old dudes thought it was positive charges moving because at that point in time we had not busted into the atom and figured out what was inside. And we didn't know the relationship between the positive charges and the negative charges. So the old dudes thought it was the positive charges moving. So they set up the direction of the current as the dire direction that positive charges would move. And that's, that's not correct. But everything was set up as the direction that a positive charge goes so for the sake of continuing uh, history, I guess, the direction of conventional current, convention, conventional current flows from the positive side of the battery all the way around to the negative side of the battery. So I, current I leaves the battery. It has nowhere to go but through R1. It has nowhere to go but through R2. And it has nowhere to go but through R3. No choice. So just like puzzles have rules, circuits have rules. Okay? For um, resistors in series, the current... The rule for the current is that the current through the branch, and I'll define branches more specifically here, is equal to the current through each one of the individual resistors. So each one of those resistors is giving, getting the same current. It has no choice. The current must go through R1, it must go through R2, it must go through R3. If V is equal to IR, so if V is equal to IR, then there is a voltage across this resistor. So this resistor could be um, a 2 ohm resistor, this could be a 3 ohm resistor, this could be a 4 ohm resistor, and each one would have a different voltage. Okay? Applying to college costs less than the dorm, usually. <laughs> it costs less than the meal ticket, right? So the, the voltage would be like the cost of each thing. Okay? So the voltage, the rule for voltage, is that the voltage for the branch, and this one's a boring branch, it just has one, it's like a tree that doesn't split, okay? But that's your branch there. The voltage for the branch is equal to the sum of the voltages across each resistor. 